The other place where you might have a, a fire is right here, the fuse box. Right when you walk in the door, you'll see it right there. That might be the other place where there'd be a fire. Okay, um, it should be a great ride over. We'll do another seat. Yeah, the volunteer program is definitely mutually beneficial. Um, it benefits the Kirk because, well, first and foremost, it helps us accomplish our mission uh, where we're trying to make a place where the people of Hawaii are caring for this place, right? So that includes residents and visitors, the people that make Hawaii Hawaii, yeah? Um, and it's beneficial to them because they're coming here and they're learning about the culture. They're taking part in what we hope to be the biggest educational center in the state. Um, learning about history, learning about the present projects that we're working on and the future potential to be a self-sustaining, the first self-sustaining island in the state. Um, and for us, I mean, with the limited staff that we have and the limited um, resources that we have, we can't do this without them. Um, so the Kirk has taken approximately 10,000 people to Ko'olawe um, since it started doing work out here. And again, just the We've put half a million native plants in the ground. We've restored appro approximately 13% of the island. Um, and these are school groups, um, these are visitor groups. These are groups that specialize in restoration, ecology, culture. So they're coming here and gaining and giving and then taking everything back home and sharing that with the rest of their communities. Um, and that's also hugely important for us because we're so limited, again, resource-wise, that we completely count on them to go home and educate others, right? Because we can't touch um, even a, a small percentage of the state of Hawaii, and yet we really hope and expect our, our entire state to support the work that we're doing here as a symbol of Hawaii. Um, volunteers have put in you know, countless plants um, on the island and have done uh, you know, a large amount of hours of work that couldn't have been accomplished without them. So volunteers are very important to the restoration of Kahu'olawe. To this point, we've relied on the support of the state to help fund Kahu'olawe. Um, basically in 2008, we started doing a contributed um, giving program where we've, um, we've reached out and gone for state, federal, county grants, foundation grants, and we've seen a lot of success with those grants. But now, um, basically with the current results of this year's legislative session, we're calling upon individuals, um, not just of the state of Hawaii, but of our larger planetary community, really. Um, and we're, we're launching a new membership campaign in which people are just making donations ranging from $25 to $25,000 to basically show their devotion, show their support, um, of basically the history, the present, the future potential um, that Koholave has for them and future generations. It'd be such a shame for this place not to be available for future generations.